What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How y'all doing? Um, the burnouts will be back again. Can you believe it? Bernie Sanders is uh, allegedly, reportedly, saying he's going to run for 2020. Now, to be honest, this is the matchup I think we should have had. We should have had that Trump versus Bernie. And, and that would have decided the, the future fate of the United States of America. <laughs> when we go down this capitalist trek, pseudo-capitalist trek, when we deep dive into socialism, I don't think they're going to let them. <laughs> You know, I was thinking, I think, you know, the powers that be, they can use Bernie to push the far, the party further left while your uh, leaders remain kind of quasi the same. You know what I mean? Um, it seems like the establishment is firmly behind Kamala Harris. Um, you know, uh, Elizabeth Warren is probably in the mix, but I think they're going to throw another woman back to back. You know what I'm saying? Um because that's what the party has become, you know, pandering to, uh, you know, gender, race, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but the problem is, I think, with them is say, uh, Kamala is already, people are already on Kamala Harris's ass. You know, I, I mean, it's good she's getting this shit out the way early, but people ain't letting up, man. And, you know, and the hope to anti hope, they here they come with the anti hope up shit. Here they come. Oh, you, yo, all you hoteps is talking about Kamala Harris, blah, blah, blah. Talk about she ain't black enough, who she married, she don't got no kids, blah, blah, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, okay, we don't have to talk about that. Let's talk about policy. And people rant, <laughs> run that policy down. See, there's multiple reasons why people don't like Kamala Harris. It should be policy, but it's other things. You know how people relate, you must relate to other people. Now, with Sanders... I'm sorry to say, man, some of these white folks around here, man, they like his message. Like, like a little bit younger than me, man. You know, 30s or something like that. They kind of like Bernie's message. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, man, from what I've heard. I don't know, but, you know, I don't think the blacks, <laughs> the blacks, <laughs> the African-Americans, the Akatas, the Shines, I don't think they're too thrilled with them. You know, I mean, there's some a sect that is, but, you know, um, since, you know, a black woman is voting is, it's going to cause a quite a, a bit of commotion. <laughs> um, I'm still, in my, in my estimations, I think Tulsi Gabbard is probably their best bet. Um, but I think everybody else is the same, you know, Bernie's a fraud too. You know what I mean? It's not like about the money distribution, and everything else, man, he vote for war just like everybody else did. And that's my biggest thing. I don't want to, um, since I was uh, um, in the armed forces, I don't want to be used to be like, I want to, our, our soldiers, men and women, to be used for uh, imperialist pipelines and, and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like being the banker's uh, army. You know what I'm saying? So that's my biggest thing. I want somebody to take control of our foreign policy back. You know, and Tulsi is one. Trump has tried. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, he's tried his damnedest. And I, I'll give it to him. He's been the first one to do so. But you see at what kind of ob obstacles uh, overcome him. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see with that. But Bernie's in the mix, man. Bernie 2020, the burnout house is back. <laughs> you know, this is Uncle Hotep. Hotep's been told you every Thursday. Please check us out. Um, uh, please donate Patreon, PayPal, um, uh, Uncle Hotep Factor, Sundays at 8, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.